All right. Excuse the heavy breathing. <laughs> Been digging away here and pulling up roots and trees. I think I pulled a muscle on my side, root, reefing on a root. But I got a bottle down underneath this tree here. I'm just going to reach in and see if I can pull it out. Okay, big food jar, some sort. And uh, there's a basal one right here too. Square one. It's down in there pretty good. There we go. Ah, it's cork top. It's embossed. It looks like a shoe dressing. A varnish. Something shoe dressing, anyways. It's an oldie. Nice color. Cool. I'll keep that. Next semi interesting find, folks, is this Celica Perfumer, New York. Little cork top. It's got the some sort of stopper still on the top of it. Anyways, interesting little bottle. Hang on to that for sure. Another quick find, folks. This one here, some sort of food jar, I'd say. It says a uh, embossed premier up across there and it's got the O and a square on the bottom so I'll hang on to that and I'll just go uh, I'll clean it up and see if I can find any info on it we got one folks I can't tell right off if it's machine made or not looks like it's blown yet it's tooled lip embossed on the side panels here looks like it says Twitchell Champlain and Company Twitchell Sham Champlain I don't know side so says uh, Neuroloic Anodyne first time I've seen one of those it's a beautiful color cool nice little find Fine, folks. This one here says uh, Johnson's prepared liquid wax, and it's got a uh, lip on it like one of those uh, Scotch emulsion bottles. Like it would have had a flip-up lid on a on a hinge or something. Kind of cool. First time I've seen one of these ones. Not sure what the date is on the bottom there. Looks like Owens Illinois glass. Anyways, okay, let's keep going. Well, got these two little buttons. That real small one is a shell button, and that white one is a glass button. And along with it is uh, this here. You can't see it very well, but that's a Scotts emulsion. Cod liver oil, lime and soda. And uh, the embossing actually on it's pretty good, even though you can't make it out. I'm going to take that one and uh, get back to digging. One more fine, folks. Check it out. An amber Chessenbro Vaseline jar. It's only the second one of those I found. Yep, amber one. I think they're later, like from the 40s or something. Nice find, though. This little shaker. It's uh, aluminum or something. Kind of neat. I found similar ones before. It's in pretty good condition, this one. Nice little keeper. I think I got a red and white marble down here, folks. Uh, yep. 
a wee bit rusty, but that'll clean up. Yeah. Red and orange and white. Nice swirls in it. Cool. All right, folks. Another uh, successful dig. Time to get out of here. Got a few oldies. It's always nice to get at least a, a couple old bottles for the video. And Oh, jeez. Look at the thorns on those bad boys. Oh. And then... Uh, <laughs> get some common ones to fill in the rest of the video. Holy jumpins. We're right in the thick of it here now. Alright, so anyways, I'll let you go for now. and We'll see you on the cleanup. Good day, folks. Welcome back to the recap. Yeah, this, uh, this is the third video for this particular site. And I'm not sure, I think I got the first dig, might have been two videos, and then this one, or the first dig was one video, and then the second dig contained, this might be the second part, I can't remember now. Anyways, it's a third video for <laughs> this uh, site, anyways. Uh, I feel like I'm rambling on. Anyways, let's get started. There's a variety of uh, age range of stuff here. So, but there are some, uh, there's some older stuff here. Let's get right into it. Uh, some stuff that I haven't seen before. This is new stuff for me. This one here is the Johnson's uh, Prepared Liquid Wax. It's got one of them funky tops on it. I think it would have had a, a hinge top that popped up. Kind of like the Scott's Emulsion Bottles. Uh, next we got one of these Varnus. Sultana shoe dressings. That's a shoe polish. It's a really nice bottle, nice color. I dug one of these up at a different site sometime earlier in the year, but it was just a clear one. And this one here's got that nice bluey shoe to hue to it. Oh, and it says down here too, Montreal on it. So that's nice to have the, the name on there. And then next we got Scott's Emulsion. I seem to be digging up a lot of these. Some people can't find any and I'm digging them up at just about every site I go to, so I don't know what that means, but here's another one. <laughs> uh, lots of people want to ask about my uh, collection, too. They want to see the collection, but honestly, folks, most of my stuff is packed away in uh, milk crates and boxes, and it's just, you know, uh, in storage, so to speak. I do have some on windowsills and stuff, though, and wherever I can find a place, I push some on there if they're nice looking bottles but I might go over some of them sometime but won't be today here's a uh, Twitchell Champlain and Company Neuralgic Anodyne nice blown bluey hued bottle that's probably right around turn of the century I suspect same as this shoe polish this one's a uh, machine made and this one's blown and then next we got the Hinds, H-I-N-D-S, Honey and Almond Cream. There's what their lid looks like, the symbol on their lid. I'm not sure which way it goes, but there it is. And I found a couple different variations of this bottle, and here's another one here. I get both of them on there and focused at the same time. You can see the difference. Check it out. Portland, Maine. They both have similar tops as well. Next we got this Premier bottle and it's some sort of snap-on lid I would suspect. There's Premier up around the shoulder here. Owens Mark 1919 to 1929 I think. 10 year span and that is a salad dressing I do believe next we got this shaker it's a big one it's in kind of rough condition here somebody told me to save these if I find them because uh, apparently they're hard to come by but here's a smaller version as well that I found and this one's in really good condition compared to this one 
But anyways, a little tip if you find them might be worth hanging on to. Chess Bro Vaseline. Amber one. I believe these come from uh, 1940s. So this is a little later one. That's only the second amber one I found in my digs so far. Perfume bottle, Selleck Perfumer, New York. And this one's still got the top in it too. Found one of these uh, two videos back or three videos. I put some pictures up uh, what uh, an original bottle would look like with the paper label and stuff on it. I don't know. I might do that in this video too at the end. Got two buttons. Little shell button here. Kind of neat. And then this other one's just glass. I don't think. No, there's no lettering on it. And then we got uh, finally marble number 20 for this year. I haven't found many marbles this year. Usually by this time I'm up in near 30, but there we go. That's that. So, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I think it's probably a short video this time. The next time it will probably be longer. And uh, we've got some more, uh, some nice finds coming out of a couple of these spots. So, hang tight and we'll get on to those. Thanks for watching, everybody, and have a great day. What? <laughs>